G'day mates, welcome back to the channel. It is your captain speaking. Hope you're all doing well. Welcome back everybody. We got Short Shank Redemption today, 1994. I put up a poll saying, what do you want to see? The fifth element or this? And this one won. So we'll do this one this week. And hopefully we will do fifth element next week. I'm not 100% sure on that, but it's looking like it will be that way. Um, I really don't know anything about this movie except that it's in a prison. So... I really don't have much to say in this intro. We'll do most of our talking in the outro. So if you want to see my thoughts, rating, and score, make sure you stick around to the end of the video. And yeah, without any further ado, let's jump in. Oh no. You got the blicky. Got the bevy. Tonight's looking like it's a good night for a mistake. It's very convenient, isn't it, Mr. Since I am innocent of this crime, sir, I find it decidedly inconvenient that the gun was never mm -hmm. found. This guy is very clean cut, very proper. Very honest. The state of Maine, I hereby order you to serve two life sentences back to back. One for each of your victims. What? So did he kill her or did he not kill her? Or is that just up in the air right now? I guess we'll find out. A Mr. Freeman, the esteemed. Dude, what a goat axer, seriously. Yes, sir. You feel you've been rehabilitated? Oh, yes, sir. <laughs> Rejected. He was telling him everything they wanted to hear. Andrew Dufresne came to me in 1949 and asked me to smuggle Rita Hayworth into the prison for him. I told him, no problem. Rita Hayworth, the actress? I mean, smuggling reefer, cigarettes, alcohol, that's one thing. You smuggled an actress into a prison for him? Uh, wow. Do you reckon this would probably be one of the worst days in a prisoner's life? Like, you know you're going to be in here for years and years, and this is just your first day. Damn. Move out of the cage, go to your left, pick up your clothes and Bible. Next man up. Why are they flowering them? What does that do? The first night's the toughest. No doubt about it. I was just thinking the same thing, Chief. March you in naked as the day you were born. Mm. And when those bars slam home, that's when you know it's for real. I'm just thinking the same thing, man. That's crazy. It's blown away in the blink of an eye. Mm. Nothing left but all the time in the world to think huh. about it. His first night in the joint and Dufresne cost me two packs of cigarettes. He never made a sound. Don't count him out. Don't let that rich boy haircut fool you. Oh, yuck. Are you, are you going to eat that? Oh, don't eat that, old man. Planned on it. Do you mind? Jeez Louise. Do they'll, they'll eat anything in here. Oh, it's for a birdie. Okay, I was about to say. Old mate's got a couple of screws missing up there, hey? Jake says thank Maybe you. not. Jake. Jakey Hello. boy. Hey. Anybody coming to you yet? What? Hey, we all need friends in here. I could be a friend to you. No thanks, mate. See you never. Ugh. Oh, you are one sick son of a gun. Why'd you do it? I didn't, since you asked. Still maintaining his innocence. Right in. Everybody in here is innocent. <laughs> you know that? Hey, what are you in here for? Didn't do it. Lawyer fucked me. <laughs> We're all innocent. Sisters have taken quite a liking to you. The sisters. Especially Boggs. Boggs. I don't suppose it would help any if I explained to them I'm not homosexual. Neither are they. They have to be human first. Oh my god. Jesus. I don't like Boggs, dude. Gives me the creeps. The heebie jeebies. Yeah. I think it would be fair to say I liked Andrew from the start. <laughs> Best buddies. You got a friend in me. I finally got the joke. It will take a man about six oh. years to tunnel under the wall with one of these. Yeah, it's minuscule. Oh no. What do you want? Oh, he brought the goon squad with him. Honey. Oh my god. Get him, Andy. Get him, Andy. That's it, mate. That's it. You fight better that way. Dude. Oh my god. They jumped I wish him. I tell you that Andy fought the good fight and the sisters let him be. I wish I could tell you that. 
but prison is no fairy tale world. Oh my god, dude, they didn't, did they? Never said who did it, but we all knew. They didn't do what I think they did to him, do they? Please tell me, dude. Every so often, Andy would show up with fresh bruises. They're scumbags. Sometimes he was able to fight him off, sometimes not. Oh, man. Unger. Ellis Redding. Wouldn't you know it? <laughs> Me and some fellas I know were among the names called. How does he do it? He's too slick. And they got Andy in, on the crew as well. Brother died a rich man. Oil wells and shit. Close to a million bucks. A million bucks in 1947. 35,000. That's what he left me. Ooh. Dumb shit, what do you think the government's gonna do? Ah, uh, tax. I tell you, Uncle Sam, he puts his hand in your shirt and squeezes your tit till it's purple. <laughs> what a bloody analogy. I like that one, Byron. Some brother. Oh no, he's walking up on him. Hey! Jeez Louise, you can't do that. Mr. Adley, do you trust your wife? <laughs> And he's asking for trouble, isn't he? Funny you're sucking my dick with no teeth. Ew. What I mean is, do you think she'd go behind your back, try to hamstring you? Oh my god, this guy's about to get thrown off this building. Step aside, Mert. This fucker's having himself an accident. You know, push him off the roof. Oh my god. The IRS allows a one-time only gift to your spouse for up to sixty thousand dollars. Oh shit. Tax free. Tax free. IRS can't touch one. Tax free. You're that smart banker would kill his wife, aren't you? Thirty-five stacks. You get the forms, I'll prepare them for you. Nearly free of charge. Nearly. I'd only ask three beers a piece for each of my co-workers. Wow. That's rich, ain't it? I think a man working outdoors feels more like a man if you can have a bottle of suds. Is that... That's facts. That is factually correct, sir. This guy almost got himself killed so he can get the boys some bevies. What a man. What a man. Damn it, Andy. I like the cut of your jib, sir. And that's Ooh. how it came to pass. Boys. But on the second to last day Boys. Of the job, Sunset bevs and darts. Come on, man. Factory roof in the spring of 49. Cheers, boys. Emia style beer. Courtesy of the hardest screw that ever walked no a Shawshank State Prison. And while it's cold, ladies. Dude, what a how'd he set this up? We sat and drank with the sun on our shoulders and felt like free men. Hell, we could have been tarring the roof of one of our own houses. Woo! We were the lords of all creation. Oh my god. As for Andy... Morgan's narration is otherworldly. It's second to none. Want a cold one, Andy? No thanks. Came up drinking. <laughs> <laughs> so he got everybody's beers, but he doesn't even drink them himself. Oh! Or maybe make a few friends among us. That's what I was thinking. Me. I think he did it just to feel normal again. Oh man. Dude, that's amazing. That's unreal. You're gonna love that scene. That might be one of my new favorite scenes I've ever seen. Dude, that was instant classic. Why'd you do it? I'm innocent, right? <laughs> just like everybody else here. He put reverse Uno card. Andy. Here she comes. This is what I really like is when she does that shit with her hair. Oh, yeah, I know. I've seen it three times this month. <laughs> Let me see. Are you decent? Ooh. Me? Ah. <laughs> <laughs> what do you want? Rita Hayworth. <laughs> Take a few weeks. Weeks? Weeks! Andy, I don't have a stuff down in front of my pants right now. <laughs> I'm sorry to say. But I'll get her. Dude, if Red pulls this one off, I'm done. Not again, man. Come on. Why can't the sisters just piss off? Oh my god. Everything just starts getting better for Andy, and then these guys come out of the bloody woodwork. Absolute nonsense. Don't you gonna scream? Good luck. Let's get this over with. Jesus Christ. So they really got to that point. Get him, Andy. Why won't somebody help Andy? I'm gonna open my fly. And you're gonna swallow what I give you. Oh my god. Not a read. <laughs> you ignore your fuck. Wow. This guy's a bastard. Didn't put anything in Andy's mouth. And neither did his friends. What they did do is beat him within an inch of his life. 
scumbags. He got a week in the hole while Andy uh, spent a month in infirmary. That's not balanced. It's your world, boss. She's just gonna let him out. He does this crap again. This man needs to be stopped. Oh! Captain, please beat his ass. From one captain to another. Put the pressure on this dude. What? Yes! 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 Karma is a biznitch. What goes around comes around, buddy. Gotta reap what you sow, buddy. We are who we choose to be. And by the weekend, it was due back. We had enough wow. rock saved up to keep him busy till rapture. The boys came through for Andy. He's definitely one of the crew now, 100%. And of course, the most important item. Rita Hayworth herself. Rita's here. He got a poster. <laughs> No charge. Welcome back, dude. Red's the homie. He really hooks it up. No charge as well, dude. That's tasteful. Watch ye therefore, for ye know not when the master of the house come. That's meta. Can't say I approve of this. <laughs> but I suppose exceptions can be made. Damn. Dude, I like Andy. Salvation lies within. Yes, sir. Salvation lies within them. That's deep, dude. Truth is, Norton wanted to size Andy up. Yeah, I had that feeling he was. Been reassigned to you. I know, they told me. <laughs> Ain't that a kick in the head? Oh my god, I love that saying. Ain't that a kick in the head, dude? That's classic. I haven't heard that in a minute. I'm Deacons. I was... Hey, go on, Mike. And then Andy says, Mr. Deacons, you want your sons to go to Harvard or Yale? He didn't say it. Oh, Andy. You slick. A second. And then he laughed himself silly, and afterwards he actually shook Andy's hand. My ass. Dude, Andy's hot property. Dying a little jiggly hula gal on his desk, he would have been Mr. Dufresne, if you please. <laughs> Mr. Dufresne, damn. For a week, they can't ignore me forever. Sure can. But you write your letters if it makes you happy. I'll even mail them for you. How's that? Well, thanks, Warden. And they did tax returns for half the guards of Shawshank. Wow. Year after that, he did them all. Damn. Including the wardens. And still, he kept sending those letters. Damn, Andy putting in that work. Please, bro, just Damn, calm the fuck down. What is he doing? Hey, what? Wait, wait a minute. What's he done to you? And that's what they done. What? I got, I got no choice. What'd they do to him? The only way they'd let me stay. Let you stay? I didn't do nothing. I come in here to say fairly well. Ain't you heard his parole come through? What? I just don't understand what happened in there. Me neither. It's crazy as a rat in a tin shit house is what. Oh. Wouldn't you be happy to get out of here? Why does he want to stay? Just institutionalized. Oh. Institutionalized my ass. The man's been in here 50 years. Hey? Yeah. 50 years. That's all he knows. Yeah. Hmm. In here, he's an important man. He's an educated man. Wow. Outside, he's nothing. Really? Just a used up con with arthritis in both hands. Damn, that's such a crazy way to think about it. You know what I'm trying to say? Yes, I do. Oh, he's gonna say goodbye to Jakey. Care of you no more, Jake. Oh, man. For free. Bye, Jake. Damn, he's a free man. That was such an interesting reaction to, you know, passing your parole. He literally was about to kill Haywood just to stay there. Dear fellas. He just looks so out of place. I can't believe how the world went and got itself in a big damn hurry. Hmm, that's still kind of relevant today. This movie came out almost 30 years ago. It's hard work. I try to keep up. Yeah. But my hands hurt most of the time. I keep thinking Jake might just show up and say hello. Oh, man. He never does. Bro, this is so sad, actually. Maybe I should get me a gun and, and rob the foodway so they'd send me home. I oh, my God. He he said prison. He said, he, he said they're going to send me home. 
He just referred to prison as home, dude. Being afraid all the time. I've decided institutionalized not to stay. Where you going? Gonna rob the foodway. Send him back. Send him packing. Or he just called prison home, man. Come on. What's he doing out there? Some house red arrows. What's going on? Bro, don't tell me. Oh my god. Brooks was here. Oh my god, I'm gonna cry. Bro, that was so sad. Oh my god. I doubt they'll kick up any fuss. Not for an old crook like me. Institutionalized. Dear Mr. Dufresne, in response to your repeated inquiries, the state has allocated the enclosed funds for your library project. Nice one, Andy. Two hundred big ones, Chief. We trust this will fill your needs. We now consider the matter closed. Please stop sending us letters. <laughs> but all this cleared out before the warden gets back. Yes, sir. You really pestered them till they caved in to his demands. It only took six years. <laughs> From now on, I'll write two letters a week instead of one. Uh, I believe you're oh. crazy. Oh! Now you better get all. He got what he wanted. Now he's gonna double down. Andy, you, you dog. I come back. Persistence. Wow. Dude, he made it happen. He did. Hope. Hope. Say something, my friend. Hope is a dangerous thing. Oh, he's just about to say that. Hope can drive a man insane. Yep. It's got no use on the inside. Mmm. Better get used to that idea. Red literally just said everything I was thinking. Like Brooks did. Oh, come on, man. Uh it's tough. Sit down. Roll time again. It says here that you served 30 years of life sentence. 30 years. Here you've been rehabilitated? Oh yes, sir. Without a doubt. I haven't even been alive. I have not even been alive for 30 years, and this bloke spent that in prison. No danger to society here. God's honest truth. Hmm. Absolutely rehabilitated. He gives him the same the same uh, speech every time. Denied? Yeah, rejected. Damn it. Red can't catch a break with these freaking parole people. They're 30 years. Not willing to meet him halfway. A new girl for your 10 year anniversary. Ms. Monroe, damn. Appropriations committee voted an annual payment of $500. And your payment. Shut him up. A 500. You'd be amazed how far Andy could stretch it. Jeez Louise. Here Kennedy was shot. Oh. And they had transformed the story. Brooks Highland Memorial Library. Dude, I love that. Ah. Uh. Our inmates, properly supervised, will be put to work outside these walls. Hmm. All manner of public service. I don't know. It sounds a bit dodgy, mate. And oh my lord, how the money rolled in. Warden is corrupt. Oh, well. Be sure and thank Maisie. Warden. You corrupt son of a gun. Behind every shady deal, behind every dollar earned, that was Andy keeping the books. Warden buddy roped Andy into this shady scheme he's got going on. He's a phantom, an apparition. Second cousin to Harvey the Rabbit. I conjured him <laughs> out of thin air. Andy is too smart for his own good. Ooh, who's this hot shot? Elvis looking bloke. Williams came to Shawshank in 19. Tommy Williams. Young punk. Mmm. Mr. Rock and Roll. Hot shot. I've been in and out since I was 13. You name the place, chances are I've been there. Troublemaker. I mean. Lawyer, fuck me. <laughs> Everybody's innocent in here. Oh my god. That's Red's line. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. This has really come full circle, hasn't it? <laughs> As it turned out, Tommy had himself a young wife and a new baby girl. Oh. Maybe it was the thought of them on the streets or his child growing up not knowing her daddy. Okay. Just thinking maybe trying for my high school equivalency here. You helped a couple fellas. Hell yeah, Tommy. That's what I'm talking about. Personal growth. Don't read so good. There's always time to learn. By 1966, right about the time oh. Tommy was getting ready to take his exams, 
It was lovely Raquel. Raquel. Dude, I've seen bits and pieces of that movie on YouTube. Raquel Welch. Is that her name? I think that's her name. Dude, what a smoke show. Chef's kiss. Wasted a little fucking year of my time with this bullshit. Tommy. It's probably not as bad as you think. Yeah, it's worse. I didn't get a fucking thing right. Might as well have been in Chinese. Let's see how the score comes out. Exactly. Fuck this place! Fuck it! Jesus Christ, man. Have a little bit of faith in yourself. What's the worst that happens? You fail. You just go again. What? What? Elmo Blatch. Big, twitchy fucker. Elmo? So I killed him. I mean, this tasty bitch he was with. <laughs> what the hell, man? This guy's a freak. Ew. How can this prick see this golf pro, but he married some other guy? <laughs> What? Some hotshot banker. <laughs> no. He's the one they pinned it on. <laughs> I knew it wasn't it, Andy. I knew it. I knew it. Yeah. Oh my God, they're gonna get Andy out. That's the most amazing story I ever heard. It is amazing. You just served what twenty years? Nothing. Sir. Tell me, you believe him? Williams is impressed with you. What are you saying? He hears your tale of woe and quite naturally wants to cheer you up. He's young, not terribly bright. Not surprising he wouldn't know what a state he puts you in. Dude, stop talking shit. What did you call me? A tooth. Is it deliberate? I don't even know what that means. Over. Sir, if I were to ever get out, I would never mention what goes on in here. Oh, no, don't say that. you for laundering that money. No. How long has he been here now? 1947? What is that? 19 years? Oh, almost 20 years for a crime he didn't commit because of Elmo Blatch, that sick son of a- Come on, will you throw that away, please? No. Dude, he passed, didn't he? Come on, Tommy. Ready? Well, shit. I think he passed. Kid passed. C plus average. Let's go. Dude, I knew Tommy could do it. That's what I like to see. A man in prison just decided, you know what, I'm going to change my life around. I'm, I'm going to do it. He said, I've got a wife. I've got a daughter. Dude, I need to get out of here. I need to get myself a proper job. I need to start making moves out of here, man. God, I love that. Tommy, you're, you're the man. Good on you, Tommy. Tell you, son, this thing really came along and knocked my wind out. Me too. Me too, mate. It's got me up nights. That's the truth. As well it should. I need your help, son. If I'm gonna move on this, oh, there can't be the least little shred of doubt. Oh, so he's coming around. To know if what you told Dufresne was the truth. Yes, sir. Wow, the warden's actually gonna help him. You'd be willing to swear before a judge and jury, having placed your hand on the good book and taken an oath before Almighty God Himself. Sir, yes, sir. Give me that chance. Wow, let's go. It's happening, boys. Give Dufresne his freedom back. They can't give him those last 19 years back, but damn, they can at least give him some sort of future or something. Do you know what I mean? God damn it. What? No. 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 Oh my God. The warden. Oh, the warden's coming around. He wants to keep Andy there to do his dirty work. The selfish brick. Dude, Tommy, man. Just pop that test. He was going to make something of himself. Oh my god, you just... You took that kid's future from him and you took Andy's from him as well. Warden, you are scum. Terrible thing. Warden. Oh, I hate him. I hope he gets his bloody... I hope Karma gets him somehow. You lying sack of shit. We just have to put it behind us. I'm not going to. Yep. Andy's looking like he just <laughs> lost any hope that he had. Just like Red said, man, hope is a dangerous thing. That's coming back right now. I'll tell you where I go. So hard to nail. What? So what? So hard to nail. In Mexico. Ooh, Mexico. Beautiful. Little place on the Pacific. Ooh. Right on the beach. 
buy some worthless old boat and fix it up new. <laughs> Sounds like paradise. Take my guests out. Charter. Mmm. Push ups and piss ups all day long under the sun. Now you're talking my language, brother. I'm an institutional man now. It's like Brooks was. Damn. He's a black volcanic glass. There's something buried under it. I want you to have. Buried treasure? No, I'm telling you, the guy is. He's talking funny. He really is. I'm really worried about him. He's talking like he's not going to be there much longer. Andy come down to the loading dock today. He asked me for a length of rope. No, dude. Long. You gave it to me. Oh my god, is he gonna do what I think he's gonna do? Jesus, hey, what? How the hell was I supposed to He's not gonna end it all, is he? Remember Brooks Hanlon? No. And he'd never do that. But he lost everything, man. He lost Tommy. Lost his own future with Tommy. Every man has his breaking point. Yeah, that's true, man. I don't know. Look, we split. Want to get home? I don't have a good feeling about this. I don't like the look on his face. He looks very worried. Dude, don't tell me, man. Please don't. That was the longest night of my life. Oh my god. Sitting there and just still wondering if your best man's gonna bloody do himself in. Oh. That's scary. That is scary. First thing he does when he walks out of his cell, looking for Andy. And he doesn't walk out. Oh my holy god. He killed himself. He killed himself. And he left the warden his old shitty shoes as well as the last. Fuck you. What do you mean he just wasn't here? Don't say that to me, hey. Don't say that to me again. But sir, he, he didn't kill himself. Hey, think I'm blind? Is that what you're saying? Don't tell me. Blind, hey, no, sir. Don't tell me. Now. Yes, sir. Tell me he didn't. Tell me he didn't do what I think he did. Did he do it? Did he make the great escape? Man up and vanished like a fart in the wind. Nothing left. But fart in the wind. One. Big damn conspiracy, and everyone's in on it. Wait a minute. There's a hole in the wall. What? Oh my god, he f***ing got out. And an old rock hammer, damn near worn down to the nub. He did not use that rock hammer to dig a hole that big, did he? I remember thinking it would take a man 600 years to tunnel through the wall with it. Old Andy did it in less than 20. You're kidding me. When he was putting his name at the wall at the start. No way. No way, dude. Geology is the study of pressure and time. That's all it takes, really. Pressure. And time. And time. Oh my god. That and a big goddamn poster. Yes, sir. Thank you, Red, for sourcing that poster. In prison, a man will do most anything to keep his mind occupied. You did say that. You definitely said that. To the exercise yard. A handful at a time. Andy, you dog! I mean, seriously. How often do you really look at a man's shoes? Wow, he literally just wore the warden shoes out of the office and no one noticed. You're kidding. Oh my god. He's using the thunder to mask the noise of the clanking. Andy Dufresne built different, man. That's not poop, is it? Oh, that's poop. He's a pooper. Oh 
Oh my god, is he crawling through it? And to crawl to freedom through 500 yards of shit smelling foulness I can't even imagine. Oh, he's throwing up. Freedom. Freedom, baby. He did it. He actually did it. A man nobody ever laid eyes on before strolled into the main national bank. Until that moment, he didn't exist. Is that Stevens? Paper. May I help you? He had all the proper ID. It is. License, birth certificate. The man he conjured. Oh my God, he's going to take all the warden scam money. Yes. I must say, I'm sorry to be losing your business. I hope you'll enjoy living abroad. He's taking the warden's dirty money. Yes. Yes. Would there be anything else? Please. Karma. How many times story? have we seen this? Whoever does this man dirty ends up getting it back tenfold, fifteenfold, twentyfold. He exposed the prison. The cops are coming for the warden. He's going to be an inmate. Time that you get what's coming to you, sir. Dear warden, you were right. Salvation lay within anti frame. No way! Is that the same? Is that the same Bible that the warden had in his hands in his cell when he said salvation lies within? He had the Bible with the rock hammer in there in his hands, Iron but he didn't you open it. You have the right to remain silent. If you give up, no way! This this movie is fucking insane. This may be one of the best movies I've ever seen in my entire life. Time to pay the piper. Can't kill all of them, Sammy boy. Can't kill all of them. Yourself, <sighs> Good riddance. I think the last thing that went through his head, other than that bullet, <laughs> was to wonder how the hell Andy Dufresne ever got the best of him. Mm. You shouldn't have killed Tommy. That might have been your biggest mistake. It was blank. But the postmark said, Fort Hancock, Texas. Texas? Right on the border. That's where Andy crawled. He's getting his ass down to Mexico. Andy Dufresne. Oh my God, look at this shot. Who crawled through a river of shit and came out clean on the other side. I love that line. Andy Dufresne, headed for the Pacific. Crawled through 500 yards of shit and came clean on the other side. You're kidding, dude, that line was Bellissimo, chef's kiss. <laughs> oh my god, that shot of him driving that whip down. Whipping it. I love that shot. Rehabilitated? Well, now let me see. He's gonna give him the same old jargon. I don't have any idea what that means. <laughs> nope. Maybe he's had enough. Rehabilitated? It's just a bullshit. Because to tell you the truth, I don't give a shit. <laughs> Damn, he laid it on thick. Rejected. No way. He told them how it was and they let him out. Is that all you had to do? Just confront him on their bullshit? Look at the smile on his face, look at him. Later, later boys. See you never. Dude, now he's gotta go find that Oh, what did Andy say? Oak tree, brick, brick fence, and some sort of volcano rock. There's something for him. You gotta go find that now. Don't forget. Oh, he's got the same halfway house as Brooksy. Brooks. And the same job. Bagging up groceries. No way I'm gonna make it on the outside. Bro, don't don't start talking like that, please. All I do anymore is think of ways to break my parole. Come on, man. So maybe they'd send me back. Dude, he sounds like Brooks right now. Terrible thing to live in fear. Brooks Hadlin knew it. Knew it all too well. Yeah, he really did. He found it. Ooh, some cash to splash. And a letter. Come on, Red, read it out to us. If you've come this far, Maybe you're willing to come a little further. 
You remember the name of the town, don't you? Tijuana? Say what the name. Close enough. Get busy living or get busy dying. That's goddamn right. Yes, sir. <laughs> so was red. <laughs> oh, I love that. So I doubt they'll toss up any roadblocks for that. Yep. Not for an old crook old like crook me. Old like me. Mm. Texas, please. There he is. The man, the myth, the legend, Andy Dufresne. He's got his boat. And Red's here too now. I can't believe it. The gang back together. Oh my god. What an ending. <laughs> What an ending, dude! Oh! The boys are back in town. Wow. That's it, dude. Well done, well done, well done, well done. Let's go to the outro right now, let's talk. Okay, that movie was absolutely phenomenal. Score, 10 out of 10. 11 out of 10, I don't care. 100 out of 10. It was... To me, personally, you know, everything, scores are subjective, you know that. But to me, personally, dude, it was perfect, okay? I loved it. I loved every minute of it. Like, two, two and a half hours went by, I didn't even feel it, because I was just glued to the story. The acting was on point. It wasn't on point, it was bloody, it was phenomenal. Everybody crushed it in this, in this movie, everybody. There wasn't any weak links, everybody did their thing. Morgan Freeman's voiceover is a bloody fantastic, and his voice just puts me in a good mood, I'm telling you. Dude, Andy Dufresne, the man who crawled through 500 yards of shit and came out clean on the other side. Oh, I'm going to say that for the rest of my life. Man, the setting was amazing. The cinematography was amazing. The shots were amazing. The shot of Red thinking in his head that Andy's driving this bloody Ferrari, just whipping it down to um, New Mexico. That was such a gorgeous shot, man. It was gorgeous. God, I'm kind of just in my head right now. Like, it was just such a good movie, man. I'm so glad I watched that. Probably one of my favorite movies of all time. I'm not kidding. I kind of want to watch it again right now just so I can see things I might have missed the first time around, especially knowing that, um, you know, Andy's going to escape at the end. It was so clever the way they put this together, though, like especially when the when the warden had the Bible and he said salvation lies within and gave him back the rock hammer. Come on, dude. Genius. Genius. Anyway, I'm sorry for gushing. Absolutely phenomenal stuff. I think we'll do um, Fifth Element next week. We'll, we'll try and get that one done for you. And yeah, until then, thank you always for watching. Thank you for, support, for your support. If you can, please be sure to like and comment and subscribe on the video. It means the world to me. Until next time, thank you. Stay safe. Bye. Ciao.